Well, we're talking about guilt. I'm a father of four daughters. And uh, I was sentenced to 17 years in federal prison when my oldest daughter was four years old. And, uh, you know, one thing I'm guilty of is neglect. Now, when you look in the mirror and you can see that you don't neglect somebody, and <laughs> stuff, it's a tough pill to swallow. I stood out in high school. I played lacrosse, football, basketball, and I ran track. My youngest daughter, I went off the uh, partial scholarship, I went off to California. My daughter got a full scholarship in track and field. She got a full scholarship. And they put it in the newspaper. She was busting records up doing what she was doing. My whole goal was it. My whole goal while I was in prison, I set attainable goals. And it's kind of tough when you gotta try to raise your children on the telephone. Trying to call them every Sunday. They waiting around for you to call. And they looked up to a reputation that I had made in the street before I went to prison about what other people told them about me. And uh, by me not being physically in my children's lives, when I did get released from prison in 2013, it was kind of Although I thought I got out of prison unscathed because I had some sense. I was scathed. And I was scathed by still showing them neglect because I wasn't in their lives in a physical way. My daughter transferred from, my youngest daughter transferred on scholarship from California and still got a full scholarship at the University of South Carolina two years later. That's how good she was in track. So, since I've been out of prison, my whole goal was to get out and do something to show them that prison wasn't going to stop me from being successful and I wouldn't expect anything less of them. And that gave me, in doing all that, I'm still neglecting them. I'm neglecting them by not calling them every day and telling them that I love them. I'm guilty of. guilty of treating them like I would treat someone. It's like, you know, women are different. They're sensitive and everything. And I, being around men, I, 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 it's something that I expect everybody to stand on their own two feet. But everybody is not is not capable and doesn't have that toughness and, and that wherewithal to get out and do it. And if they're not doing things the, the way I think they should have done, it's easier for me to call them no accounts. As time as my as as I've been in Georgia, Georgia chose me. My daughter has came here. And I've had a chance to talk with them face to face and got a chance to 
actually start mending relationships that we never had. And uh, I'm guilty of a lot of things. So when y'all chose the word guilt, I could have went in any direction. And that's all I got to tell y'all. But I'm thankful that I'm here and got a chance to share this story with y'all. And my name is Lloyd. <laughs>